Charlotte mother says her cell phone captured her daughter's final moments. I am missing her. She was my sunshine. Tanya Hoskins. Home. I know my daughter wouldn't have went there knowing that it was a married couple or that it was a wife's home. It's about an eight minute long message of her being beat. You can also hear them telling her that they're gonna kill her. I don't want the investigators to go away. I won't stop until there's another charge and justice for my child. New tonight at 10, a Mecklenburg County grand jury has indicted a Charlotte woman for second degree murder. Authorities say Stephanie Alexander admitted to shooting in a woman she found inside her home on Porter Street last month. All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video, and this is a new update video. But before I get into it, man, I really want y'all to hit the like button for me. If you're rocking with me, man, hit the like button and uh, comment below what y'all think about everything that's going on with this situation. And uh, yeah, man, hit the like button because I'm dropping consistent content back to back to back, and that's all I ask y'all to do. But other than that, man, let's go ahead and get into it. So y'all already remember what happened with Miss Tyra Crosby, right? You know, and for those who don't know what happened, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a brief summary so we can get caught up to speed on everything. So basically, long story short, it's a young lady by the name of Tyra Crosby. You know, she... You know, everything is alleged because we really just don't know. But from what they're saying, she met a man at the club. He took her home, and um, the wife came home and ultimately took this young lady's life. Now, a lot of people are going against the young lady and things like that. They're thinking that she's a home wrecker or she's been dealing with the man beforehand and all that other type of stuff, but we really just don't know. Invited there. She did not just pop up there. She was not an intruder. She was invited there. And people just took certain things and ran with it without having any clarification on what really took place. But, you know, the mother stated that she was told by the police that they met at this club and they went home together and things like that from there. believes her daughter met the man at a club. Maybe perhaps at the club or perhaps at the uh, sweepstakes place. As the investigators stated to me, that's where they found out that they came across paths. And I understand people saying, well, she seen it was a woman's house and this and this and that, but we really just don't know. She could have been inebriated. You never know what took place with that. She might not have had no pictures in the house. It's all type of things to go with that. But I'm not here to argue with nobody or debate about none of that. But what I am here to tell y'all is that the charges have been upgraded to second degree murder. It was manslaughter and that's second degree murder. So I'm guessing that is some type of, you know, insinuation that she had. What the mother said might have been true. You know, she said she had a voicemail recording of what took place. And she stated that they took her life, not just the wife. And like I said before, it's all type of weird people in this world that do things like this. They kinky, they like to take people's lives. You know how it goes. She, the movies that's being made over people who did things like this are true. If y'all don't be paying attention to them here, they based out true stories. People get down like this. So it's not, you know, out of all of the possibilities. But whatever the case may be, man, I don't feel like she should have lost her life. And um, like I said before, if she did know what was happening, I can understand. But at the same time, man, you know, with her being the older lady, I feel like she should have just took the proper steps to not take someone's life. But hey, a lot of y'all feel what y'all feel. I'm not here to argue with y'all about none of that. This is just an update. So let's go ahead and get into this real quick so they can tell y'all what the hell going on. New tonight at 10, a Mecklenburg County grand jury has indicted a Charlotte woman for second degree murder. Authorities say Stephanie Alexander admitted to shooting a woman she found inside her home on Porter Street last month. WCCB Charlotte, Trish Williford is live in East Charlotte. And Trish, Alexander was initially charged with voluntary manslaughter. Yeah, Gary, but the victim's family has been pushing for murder charges in this case, and a grand jury agreed with them. From the very beginning of this investigation, Tyra Crosby's mother and sister believe they knew exactly what happened to her. She was held hostage inside their home, brutally beaten. This lady my child at 5 a.m. and was out at 8 o'clock. Now, a Mecklenburg County grand jury has indicted 51-year-old Stephanie Alexander for second degree murder in the killing of 25-year-old Crosby. On July 18th, CMPD detectives responded to this home on Porter Street. They say Alexander called 911 to report she had just shot someone. I came home and I seen I had a woman in my house and I pulled out my gun and I shot and she's not moving. When police arrived, they found Crosby dead. Her family believes she was invited to the home by Alexander's husband. 
Over the past two weeks, WCCB News has reported that Crosby's family pushed authorities to charge Alexander with murder. They told us they had a recording that proves Crosby was beaten before she was shot and killed. Now look, I'm going to tell you all this right here. Just because a family is pushing for things doesn't mean that it will go through. So obviously, obviously, it's something more to this situation. She said she had an eight minute recording and she heard everything that took place that night. And she said she handed it over to authorities. And after that happened, now her charges are upgraded to second degree murder. Now, we don't know what the hell going on with that, but it does seem like it's some foul play up in this situation, don't it? Now, a lot of people was kicking this woman while she was down and things like that. Well, she's still down, the mother and the daughter. But because of it, it was a man and a lot of people, you know, a lot of women. i never seen this side of women. It kind of shocked me that people, you know, was like showing like no remorse for the lady. I can understand that if she knew purpose, purposely, you know, you know that she, what she was doing. But if she just was unknown, unknowing to everything that took place, man, it's just crazy. You know, people were saying she should be meeting up with me and going to their homes. What else? What to do? Yeah, true enough. But I'm not going to just try to put somebody down when something like this is, this is actually happening. You feel me? But, uh, you know, it's a sad situation all the way around, man. Let's get back into it, though. But like I said, obviously it's something, you know, to this. Criminal defense attorney Mark Jaton is not an attorney on this case. Just because it's a heat of passion situation doesn't always mean manslaughter is the correct charge. The difference is, in a murder situation, it's premeditated. It's deliberate. What happened from the time that the, the individual who's been charged with this crime got there to when that gun was fired? Family members say Crosby was a bright light and was excited about her future. Her mother says she won't stop until she gets justice for her daughter. I am just grateful that people want to push it, want to get on board on one accord to see tough the laws. Crosby's family believes more charges will come. The suspect in this case is due back in court in October. Gary. Trish Rutherford reporting live in East Charlotte tonight. Trish. Well, police you. on the scene of a homicide on Porter Street in North... Now, this is all that took place from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? When everything transpired, you know, I like to bring these type of videos back. That way people who are new here can get a up-to-date feel of everything so they just won't be completely oblivious but i want to know what y'all feel about everything that just took place right there make sure i put that in the comments let's get back into it though charlotte this is between Roswell's ferry road and freedom drive now this started as a home invasion investigation according to police a woman called 911 saying she shot a woman she found in her house wbtv's mary Hawkins is now joining us live where this happened Mary, police say there is no danger to the public. That's right, Naya. Major Jonathan Thomas of CMPD says this at this point in the investigation, this does appear to have been a domestic situation. Now, neither the name of the victim or the person of the in, the person of interest have been released yet. Investigators say they do not believe the two women knew one another. It was the the alleged shooter's husband is the only witness in this case. And I do want to get to some video my photographer Alex took early this morning when we first arrived. Uh, that was here on Porter Street, and police were investigating early this morning. That 911 call came in just before 5.30 a.m. Now, the person of interest and her husband were taken to police headquarters to be interviewed. A next-door neighbor told me gun violence has become a big issue in this area over the past few years. That neighbor, Jeanette Jones, says her own home has been, up, has been shot up twice now since she's moved here. Now, to everybody shooting. We got drive-by shootings, you hear it all the time. And you hear it back here in that warehouse back there. Mm -hmm. They be back there shooting, racing cars in the parking lot. Now, no charges have been filed, but uh, CMPD tells me if any charges are filed, that will come from the district attorney's office. As for the investigation, that is still ongoing. For now, we're putting live in Charlotte, Mary Crosby's mom says she wants you to know what really happened to her daughter. She was Tuesday morning on Porter Street in Northwest Charlotte. CMPD says Stephanie Alexander arrived home, found Crosby inside, and then shot her. Alexander is charged with voluntary manslaughter. WBTV's Cam Gaskins is live outside CMPD tonight. So Cam, what did Crosby's mom tell you? 
Yeah, Molly, she wanted us to know that her daughter Tyra Crosby was not an intruder in Alexander's home and was actually invited inside by Alexander's husband. And that's why she believes the charges deserve to be upgraded to first degree. And that's why she wanted to make sure her daughter's story was shared tonight. It's all new at 11. So I'm here, simply here, begging and pleading for justice for my child. Thursday night, Tanya Hoskins wanted to make sure that her daughter, Tyra Crosby, was not forgotten and that her full story was shared. She was our angel, our flower, unnecessarily lured to a home and brutally beaten and murdered. According to CMPD, Stephanie Alexander returned home to her house on Porter Street in Northwest Charlotte early Tuesday morning and found Crosby inside before shooting and killing her. Crosby's mother says that Tyra was invited into that home by Alexander's husband and that her daughter did not know he was married or that he and his wife owned that home. She was invited there. She did not just pop up there. She was not an intruder. She was invited there. She also says that Crosby called her in her final hour and left a voicemail in which you can hear Alexander beating her before shooting her. According to Hoskins, it was a prolonged beating. And she's hopeful that this new evidence will elevate the charges against Alexander. You heard it? You heard it. I just want to make sure I heard it now. Because a lot of people were saying a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, going against them and stuff like that, you know. You know, which is nothing wrong with that. You know, everybody going out their emotions and thoughts and opinions. And we all speculating still at this point. But, I mean, things are looking more on her side than what everybody was believing at first. You feel me? That damn videotape got to hold some type of substance. But for the man not to be charged right now is kind of crazy to me. But like I said before, and I'm going to continue saying that he's just as wrong as her because he bringing women home if they do have a house together. People were saying that they don't have a home together. They was getting split up. We don't know shit. But yeah, y'all heard what she said. She was hoping to get the charges upgraded after the video was submitted. The video got submitted and the charges are upgraded. So let's get back into it. Because right now she's charged with the lowest form of murder. I want it up to first degree murder. Alexander was charged with voluntary manslaughter and booked into the Mecklenburg County Jail on Tuesday. Hours later, she was out on bond. She murdered my daughter at 5 a.m. and she was out at 8 p.m. So that means that human life means nothing anymore. For now, Hoskins says she'll wait for CMPD to investigate, but she won't let anyone forget. I don't want the investigators to go away. I won't stop until there's another charge. And justice for my child. So as we mentioned, Alexander was released on bond Tuesday night and is currently scheduled to appear in court next on August 7th, still facing that initial voluntary manslaughter charge. Reporting at CNN. No no. Tonight, the community remember, coming together to remember 25-year-old Tyra Crosby. She was shot earlier this week in Charlotte. During tonight's candlelight vigil, there were hugs, tears, and memories were shared. A song of comfort. Candles illuminating the sky as darkness, the unknown, knocks for family and friends of 25-year-old Tyra Cosby. She would always be saying that she was the light of every situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your head down, she'll make sure you look it up. You know, uh, she prayed every day. The memories they keep as questions still remain. Crosby was shot in Tuesday at a home in Charlotte. CMPD described it as a domestic situation. Thursday, Crosby's mother told WBTV her daughter was lured by the suspect's husband. She was invited there. She did not just pop up there. During Sunday night's vigil at Camp Green Park, there was a call for everyone to come together. We've got to come together more and reflect on our life and see what I need to do to fix in my house. Now, this family, this community, pushing for justice, promising to never forget. She was beautiful. Her soul, her spirit, inside and out. She was a precious angel. Now, as far as the suspect, Stephanie Alexander, she was charged with voluntary manslaughter. She was accused of returning to the home and killing Crosby. Alexander has bonded out of jail. She's scheduled to be back in court on August the 7th. Okay, so yeah, as y'all can see, 
things are, uh, you know, progressing in this case. And I don't know what the outcome will be, but, you know, I am, you know, messed up about everything that took place. You know, everybody was wrong in this situation, in my opinion, you know, and, what, and I hate, I'm not victim shaming. I just got to say that, you know, you can't, you got to be, I, I, shit, you got to be careful with what you do and who you do it with, you know. That's what I'm speaking. When I say that, I'm talking about for Miss Tyra. And being a dude, I can't even call cousin a man because of what did he move. But, you know, being a dude, man, you got to be careful with everything that you do. You know, especially when you put other people's lives in danger. And women as well, you know. You got to be out here putting people's lives in danger thinking that you know your dude and things like that. But you really don't know nobody, man, that, you know, haven't reached that boiling point. You feel what I'm saying? So you always got to be careful with everything that you do. Now, like I always say, and I'm going to continue saying, there's no right way to do wrong, but, you know, if you're going to do wrong, make sure that you got your ducks in the row because things like this happen all the time. But overall, man, I'm going to come at y'all with more updates as I get them. I haven't seen too many people talk about the updates. They just leave it alone. And it's cool, too, but, you know, you know, I like to give y'all all the updates as much as possible. That way everybody can get caught up to speed. And we're going to be going on in life. Feeling like we knew something, we didn't know nothing, you know? But overall, man, that's all I got to say. I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate y'all. And I'll holler at y'all later on another video. All right.